As you can see, these are some of my biggest Cyranica female. Really huge. These are about six inches. And over here is my Tunisian Spurtai tortoise. It's supposed to be the only supposed to be uh, around five or six, but this one is particularly big. a comparison next to my one of my biggest female so these three are one of my biggest females as you can see just just look how big it is so those two are my biggest third one so if you think this is probably the biggest one of the biggest in the collection um, you're actually wrong there is another one that's even more bigger than this nebulensis Without further ado, I will show you guys. Dun, 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 dun. This one is one, I think this, this is the biggest nebulensis I've seen. See how big she is. Um, the seller said that um, she was farm raised, but at this size, this is at least more than 50 years old to gain this size. These guys are, um, they can live to up to 120 years old, and they only grow for about the average nebulenses are five to six inches. So if I compare these, if I compare her with the other one, she's huge. Let's take out this one giant female and let's put her next. My big ones. Look how she, she's at least seven plus. In comparison with the shell, um, I like the shell pattern of Cyranica. As you can see, this is one of my lightest one. It's really nice. And this one this one is one of my favorite because look at her shell shape. It looks like a hamburger. And really nice pattern. And this is one of my smaller female, but look at her pattern, so nice. She has that like more intense yellow. Her shell is not that good though, but you know, she's really cute. I really like tortoise with a, like a blunt face. They just look more cuter. And um, 
this uh, nebulensis has a white face, which is really cute. She's a big female. And then this one. Oh, my goodness. Probably the biggest, the biggest nebulensis in North America. And these are all females. So you're just hydrating them to uh, make sure that they're all well hydrated. One of them has the, uh, the you can just, just see this one, it has like a heart, looks like a heart. Really amazing pattern. And I really like the red jading patterns that they have in the middle of their carapace. I think Morokensis also has similar pattern and they get bigger than these but I like uh, Cyranica more because they, they only get this size and they're very compact uh, tortoise with super nice super nice shell pattern also, they look. They remind me of hamburger. Like if you look, if you look at their shell shape, they're, they're just like hamburger size. Look at them. So nice. Oops, one of them pooped, which is good. Um, I usually train them to poop while they're um, hydrating. So that you could, uh, you know, analyze if they're healthy or not, like how they, their stool look like, if they have any parasite or there's something wrong, usually they will have, their stool will not look good. But that one, that's, that's a good stool, so you want to monitor them, make sure that their bowel movement is good and um, you could also observe them. You know, they're, they look at their face to check if there's something wrong. If they're like, you know, their eyes is like kind of they have fuss or some, or other stuff, or um, you know, they have like respiratory problem. You could see it through their face and their activity. But these guys are very healthy. All right, I just want to I just want to show you guys the exceptional uh, difference. Usually, this one, the size of this one, is supposed to be like this. Let me show you guys a smaller one. This is supposed to be the right size for the nebulenses. And the Cyranica has to be like this. But if you see, look at the difference. They're an anomaly. It's like the world just changed. So now, 
I have really huge Nebulensis female. Hopefully they provide bigger eggs or a larger clutch. And I uh, can't wait to work on like younger baby Nebulensis to really see like, you know, what kind of colors they have. Well, um, that's it folks. Um, until next time.